It has indeed been an intense and long day, and I figure some of you might have been sweating. Um, so let's start off with a bit of interaction, maybe. And um, I don't know, who of you is sweating at this moment? OK, great. Now, a more awkward question. Who of you has a body odor? OK, great. Um, let's see fewer hands, but maybe let's try it a bit in a different way. Let's try it with a bit of mindfulness. So uh, let's start off with closing your eyes. So close your eyes. It's important to close your eyes so you can focus on your nose capacity. Close your eyes, feel relaxed, um, feel at ease. Try to minimize all noise around your head. Clear your mind, take a deep breath through your nose. You now live, breathe and talk through your nose. Okay, now uh, raise your right arm. <laughs> Put it high in the air. Don't be afraid. And now turn your head to the left <laughs> and try to inhale the body odor of your neighbor. <laughs> now raise your hand if your neighbor has a body odor. We have a winner. <laughs> okay, great. Now the ice is broken, uh, the taboo is gone. Now we can finally freely talk about body odor. Because in normal situations, it's really taboo to talk about it. And it's like, did you uh, smell that? It's, um, I think he has a bad hygiene. He should wash himself more. Well, this is not always true. Of course, hygiene is of influence. Even the food that you eat is of influence. The environment, your genes, they are all of influence. But the major determining parts that determines your body odor are the specific bacterial species in your armpits. Now, let's take a close look into the armpits. We can see that a lot of bacteria reside over there. In fact, there are more bacteria in your armpits than there are humans on this planet. So uh, you should never feel alone. Well, most of the people in this room are dominated with the good bacteria. Of course, if you don't wash yourself for a week, you will eventually smell bad, but in normal proportions. For other people, this is different. They are dominated with the bad bacteria. They are called corinobacteria, and they have a very high enzymatic potential to break down the long-chain fatty acids, the hormones and the amino acids in your sweat into very pungent and strong smell. So if you wash yourself for one, two, or three times, three times per day, that same smell will always come back. Now, what could we do against that? We can try spraying a deodorant. You can try to mask the smell. You can try an anti-transpirant. You can try to minimize the sweating. And there are even solutions where they inject Botox or simply boil the skin so you permanently stop sweating. Now, th those are not really the skin-friendly solutions. Um, they are not really focusing on the real problem here. And that's where we picked up the line, and that's where we wanted to make the difference. We focused on the bacteria. And therefore, we have found a very unique situation. We have found an identical male twin. It was long known that one had a body odor, and the other one did not have a body odor. And we, take, we took a close look at their bacterial profile in the armpits. This is a DGGE gel, and each band then represents, can represent another bacterial species. Um, we saw in case of the normal smelling twin that he was dominated with the good bacteria on the left. Um, the more darker the bands, the more dominant the bacteria are. Uh, and we, say, we saw in case of the smelly twin that he had very few of the good bacteria, and he had a very high diversity of the bad bacteria. Now, we had the good bacteria, and we have the bad bacteria. Couldn't we simply replace the bad bacteria with the good bacteria? And that's what we have tried. Today, I present to you the very first successful armpit transplantation, where one's body odor got better. <laughs> the idea is quite simple. Uh, we sim simply harvested the good bacteria of the non-smelly twin, 
and we put it on the washed armpits of the twin who had a body odor. And we saw on, day, uh, of the, on the first day of transplantation that the good bacteria on the left side, they were able to stay. So we started off with treated one armpit, the other one not. And the bad bacteria got significantly lower in diversity. And we saw eventually after a week, also the non-treated armpit got infected, which is good. And we saw that the body odor got significantly better as determined by uh, an odor panel. Now, now, now that's great. That's the good news. We also have some bad news. Uh, we tried it also for non-related subjects, and there we could only achieve temporal improvements. So the good bacteria were not able to stay there for more than three or four days. So um, we still have some uh, further investigations ahead. But in conclusion, what have you learned? Uh, we might have a solution towards a problem where no real solution is available for. We might improve the life quality of people having this condition. Um, we need more investigation. That means more subjects. I saw some hands in this room, so if you know somebody or you yourself would like to get involved, you can always contact me. It will be held very confidential, don't be afraid, and it's a totally non-invasive technique. Um, I would like to emphasize on the fact that the bacteria play a critical role in body odor formation, and it's still a taboo to talk about body odor. One should really dare to go up to this person and say what everybody is saying behind his back, Maybe in that way he can acknowledge the situation and maybe then he can find a solution. And if you do so, send that person to me. Thank you very much.